Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, J-Mail Flow. Breaking down just base defense that will improve your game overnight. You will become a much better player overnight with just this strategy. You can use this from any play, really, but I just use a dollar three two six DB fire three two press as base defense. Just I'm going to show you all why. Like It can lock down anything, and it can stop the run just because the run fits in this formation. So I'm going to just show y'all something like this. Like just First of all, look at the run fits, y'all. The run fits, every gap is covered up. Like Y'all see, like, look at the run fits. Every gap is covered up, bro. So, like, if you, it's hard to find plays with good run fits just off rip. So first of all, we're going to talk about how to use her. When you use her, everybody, because people hit me up on Twitter, how do you use her better? Uh, what do you do? What button suppress do you use? Like, it's no button suppress. It's just, first of all, it's about practice. First and second of all, it's about knowing what's open. That's the most important thing, I think. You can practice users all you want, but knowing what's the possibilities that can be open is probably the most important thing. Like, something like this. If I know that I man this guy up on him and man that guy up on him, if they, like, if there are, if I see them going up the field, like, if they put A in the street, why chase that? You know what I'm saying? Or if I see, like, if I think a corner route is coming, but he's manned up, why chase that? Only time I'm gonna chase it if he run a drag and gets open here or gets open there. The only thing I'm really watching is the running back do a hitch or he do an out or if B or X come on a slant post or mainly a slant or a post because they're not manned up. But since I know that, I know there's two people I don't have to worry about on the field unless they doing drags or slants and I can just use their middle. That's rule number one, just knowing who's open, knowing who you adjusted to already. Rule number two, when you use her, you wanna just go in circles. You don't wanna cut like this. You don't want to do that. Like when you're using and chasing something, you like if they just hike the ball. I don't want to. I don't want to look like this when I'm using. Y'all see that? It, it's just you're not fast, and it it seemed like when you cut hard, you get there faster. But I see a lot of people, even when I play them, when I see them cut like that, I'm just gonna throw it there because I know there's no way in hell they can ever get to that person. Guess because when you cut, especially with a linebacker, like just look how much it slows them down. Like, just look, it's just slow, it's it's just too, it takes too long for them to change direction. So when they hike the ball, all you want to do is run in small circles. You see, you're going to get to places a lot faster, a lot faster, I'm telling y'all. They hike the ball, move in circles, strafe, strafe, strafe. Always keep your user going and moving in circles and strafing. And y'all see how easier it is to strafe. Like, I'm holding LT, uh, where are we at? I'm holding LT the whole time, like not the whole time, but like when I'm not chasing a route and I'm looking to see what's open, you see me holding LT. I'm strafing, strafing. I see the streak coming, so I chase that. I strafe, I strafe, and I and I continue to use that. But y'all see how I'm not stopping. Like notice that. Notice how I'm not stopping, and then I just I go from strafing and I go to a small circle straight to the other route. If I would have cut back to him, it would not have went like that. So that's just how the user. Second thing, this base defense, how to play excellent coverage in, w against any against any offense. Shut down any offense, bro. First of all, y'all see these two corners? They blitzing. We don't want them to blitz. The only thing y'all like J-Mail, why you be even picking this play? Because the run fits. I'm telling y'all, the run fits, because they're blitzing, everybody's run fits. It's just a lot better, and it stops the run better. So what I usually do, is especially if they in something like this, off rip, I do this. I just man up them two slots because that's – if you notice, everybody's favorite person to throw to is the slot receiver, the running back, and the tight end. You take those three people away, and you force them to actually start utilizing out routes, comebacks, uh, even deep posts with the outside receivers. Like, think about it. If y'all just stop and think about it right now, no one uses the outside receiver. Like, let's see what route he's on. The only time a person uses the outside receiver maybe for a corner route, but when does anybody use any of these hot routes for an outside receiver? Usually when they uh, hot streak in the outside receiver, they either do this. Put them on a slant, put them on the streak. They, that's all they can do. No one, barely anyone I know, smart route to out route. Unless the, only the best people I know do, do that. Only the best people I know, like, pit, pit him on a comeback. Most people don't use comebacks in the game, so nobody really knows how to utilize the outside receivers. Everybody's favorite receivers is these fast, fast little dudes right here. Nelson. Brown and a running back and tight end. They try to corner routes. They try to half back screen or they try to crossing routes. That's it. You man these up right here and you like just look, let's just look at the covers like just hiking this play. 
Just look how much stuff you take away just by manning up those receivers. Like, y'all see what you took away. You basically took away his whole play. Whole play was dead just from you manning up those receivers. So instead of going like, so instead of like just playing a true zone, you playing like a man zone. And there's nothing really open. They can't really throw nothing. You're going to force them to make a bad read. This is just like, like I said, no lot of y'all, oh, you only risking three, giving them hella time in the pocket. Make sure you got your best block characters on the line. I'm just making a base. This is base defense. A base defense is something you come out in just to see what your opponent is doing. Or if your blitz is not working, nothing's working. A base defense is something you can always go to that you know can be consistent with the right adjustments. And this is that defense. You can even QB contain if you really think they're going to scramble with the quarterback. Mainly if you got good block characters, especially in Mutt, you get somebody good on the line. You will get block chairs that time. It will. I'm not saying sit in this defense the whole game. I'm saying it's a nice defense that can shut down almost. No, it can shut down any offense. I've been shut down by this. Someone used this against me. Like, <laughs> I always used this since Madden 16, but when I saw someone using it against me, like, it, it got bad. But usually, I like to do something like this. Just leave this guy in a hook because, let's say, X do go on a... Uh, Let's say X do go on a slant or something. Or let's say he does, John Brown does break a slant in and gets off the man coverage. You have a hook sitting right here. Then you have your user sitting right here. Make sure you got a fast linebacker here. So no matter what happens, like, as long as you just watch in the middle, like, especially, like, if we run against four verticals. No, not me four verticals. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go here. I'm going to just show you all. And a lot of people like to run this formation. Even in this formation, I steal baseline. I press. I man this guy up. Hey. Especially in four, if, if I ever see a trips formation. This base defense against a trips formation is well too. It's not only good for two by two. It's best in two by two or something like a split close or something. But I use this to shut down gun bunch week and trips mainly. I This guy right here, I just man him up. I'm just going to man him up on this guy right here. But I'm not going to bring him over here. Y'all going to see why. I'm going to leave him right here. I'm going to leave him right here because first of all, you know, the, the blitz is out of the dollar. You always baseline and press, right? So they don't know if you're sending a blitz. Because right now, you can send a blitz. They would never know, y'all. Because the blitz for the uh, strong eagle slant three. You baseline, press, shift, D-line to the left, and you edge rush, and you spy this guy. It looks the exact same. It almost looks the exact same. They don't know if you're sending a blitz. So then as soon as they do this, and you got this guy manned up, it's a wrap, y'all. I'm going to just show y'all why. Like, they running four verticals. Let me show you how it shuts down four verticals. This is the only guy you're watching. When I tell y'all this defense is so good, like, did y'all see that? Y'all like, bro, he was man up on the other side of the field. How did that work? That's the best way to shut down drag, slants, anything. If you want to shut down a drag route, just man him up from the other side of the field. If you man him up head on, he gets beat every time. But you see, that's John Brown. Since I man him up from the other side of the field, it's one of the best defenses to do, especially against slants, drags, anything. I'm, I'm going to show y'all that right here. I'm going to pit uh, him on a slant. If I think they running, uh, like, normally, if I am in, do catching two by two and I think they dragging me, I do this. And you're like, why you do that? Well, I just, y'all going to see why. Because just in case he's not even doing a slant, there's still a vert hook here if he does a vertical. And he, and even if he's not, I can still watch the, I can still watch the vertical right here if he's not doing a slant. But when they do these routes, just watch what happens. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Y'all just see how that flows so nice. When you man people up from the other side of the field, it makes it makes the defense a whole lot better. Manning people up from the other side of the field, like especially drag routes, I always get asked that question. How do you stop a drag? How do you stop a drag? I'm shading underneath. They still throwing a drag. Man him up from the other side of the field and just use it at middle until you can pass him off. Like you see, I was watching John Brown. As soon as he got passed off, I was able to just stop. And I probably would go use that other guy. It's so easy. Slants, drag, it don't matter, y'all. Look at this. People who like to run quick slants, look at this. Locked up. Drag, locked up. Told y'all. This is only part one. I will drop a part two. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. This is just the first part. So remember, your base defense. It's got the DB fire to press. Baseline and press. And you're going to man those corners up on the people either. If you think they're running drags, you're going to man them up from across the field. If they're in two by two and you think they're going to streak you or whatever, you can man them up on a people straight up in front of them. It's up to you. This is just to start your defense off. But until then, it's your boy, J-Mail Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go.